Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor and today we will be talking about the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. In problem number 49, I'd like to evaluate the integral from 1 to the square root of 3 of dx over 1 plus x squared. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is I need to say, uh, do I know the antiderivative of 1 over 1 plus x squared, or anything whose derivative is 1 over 1 plus x squared? And the answer is, yes, I do. Uh, and so the antiderivative of 1 over 1 plus x squared, we know that that's tangent inverse of x. And we want to evaluate that from 1 to the square root of 3. Okay, uh, so what I do next is I plug in the square root of 3, so I get tangent inverse of the square root of 3 minus tangent inverse of 1. Now, the way I think about these guys is if I have tangent inverse of square root of 3, then what I really want is I want to know is there any angle whose tangent gives me the square root of 3. And if you're in doubt, then you can uh, play with it a little bit. You could consult a table and figure it out that way. Uh, this one I know off the top of my head, tan inverse of 1, whose tangent is 1? Well, pi over 4, right? So this guy's pi over 4, but what's this guy? Uh, well, let's see. What if we had tangent of, let's say, pi over 3? Well, tangent of pi over 3 is tan, uh, I'm sorry, it's sine of pi over 3 over cosine of pi over 3. If we're just trying to do this in our head, obviously we could consult the table if we wanted to. Uh, sine of pi over 3 is uh, root 3 over 2. And cosine of pi over 3 is a half, which is square root 3 which is perfect. So what we're really looking for, tan inverse of root 3, what angle's tangent is root 3? It's pi over 3. So now we're ready to write this in. Uh, and we get that tan inverse of root 3 is pi over 3 minus tan inverse of 1 is pi over 4. And if we wanted to get a common denominator, we could. It's 12, and so I could get that 4 pi over 12 minus 3 pi over 12 is equal to 1 pi over 12. And that is my solution. 